Today on Dad Hut, we're going to be taking a look at beer gadgets, part two. Are they worth it? Let's find out. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Dad Hut. Today, we're going to be taking a look at five beer gadgets you can find on Amazon below $15. Most of them run anywhere from five to 10, but there's a couple above 10. Um, and today we're gonna be trying to find out if they're worth it. Do they work? Do they say what they uh, said they're gonna do? Um, are they practical? Would you actually use them? And are they worth the money? If you haven't already, I've already made a part one of uh, beer gadgets. If you haven't checked that out, I'll link it at the bottom and at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into this one. So the first one is this beer foam machine. Now this is the one I was least excited about. Um, didn't really have, I guess, a want for it or a need for it um, until I got it. It actually works really good. So if you're somebody who likes to have a little foam or everybody wants a little bit of head uh, on their beer, then this will do that for you and it works surprisingly well. Now, we all know the guy who loves his IPAs and his craft beer and that's all he'll drink. You know, he probably has a ponytail and a full beard that guy, he probably already knows about this because he feels like the foam will make the beer taste better and brings out the aromas. I get it. It's not for everybody. It's not even for me, really. But if you want a little bit of foam in your beer, maybe it's flat, maybe it's been sitting for a little bit, you hook this right up and it works really, really great. I must say, it was the one I was least excited for, but actually works the best. I think it does exactly what... Uh, it says it can do, and it comes in two pieces. It came in one that fits a bottle and one that fits a can, so it will work either way. Again, very simple to use. It does take two AAA batteries, but besides that, it does exactly what it says it will do. Next up, we have these stainless steel beer chillers. Um, uh, this was probably the most disappointed uh, of them all. Uh, you just stick this in the freezer um, for about 45 minutes it says, but you know, I just left mine in the freezer for a couple days. Um, and then it even has a little beer opener at the bottom. Um, but you just pop it right into your beer bottle, it'll only work on bottles, and it's supposed to either cool down your beer or keep your beer cool. But as you can see in this video, I put mine in the beer and it all just immediately foamed out. Oh shit! Um, so I probably should have went slower or drank a little bit more before I put this in. Which is one kind of con is you can't put this in on a full beer. You have to you have to drink some of it. So if it's a warm beer, you're gonna have to drink some anyways or pour it out. Um, plus, it's just weird drinking out of the top of this thing. It's it doesn't feel comfortable. It feels weird. It's very awkward. Um, I can't see a scenario where I would use this. Uh, I guess if you have them at the ready constantly in your freezer and you bring home warm beer, I guess. But who's doing that? I don't know. Uh, probably the most disappointing. They did come with two instead of one, it comes with two, so I guess there's that. But uh, practical, I don't think so. I'm not sure who's really using these. Maybe there is people out there that would actually put this in there. But if you've got a cold beer and you don't drink it fast enough um, that you need to put one of these in it, I mean, I guess maybe you're outside or something, I don't know, but not for me. All right, next up, we have this bottle opener. And you may have seen these before and you're thinking, oh, what is a bottle opener or a beer gadget for? This is actually quite different than a traditional uh, bottle opener. This here is you push down on the bottle to open it and it will open the cap as your pressure is pushing down. So that's easier, I would say, if you have trouble, if you are somebody who has trouble opening uh, beer bottles with a uh, with a bottle opener, this is gonna probably be your best bet uh, because you don't need to hold the beer down while you lift up. Everything is being pushed down up against the table and it doesn't take much effort to to open. Um, it's not anything you know crazy that you need to go out and get. It's not gonna change change the world or anything like that. But if you are somebody who has trouble opening beers beer bottles or you have to open a lot, um, you know, maybe you have a, like a, a man cave and you're, you know, popping like six beers at a time. This works really, really good for that um, and takes very, very little effort and it won't spill any of your beer. Sometimes you open a, a beer bottle and it shakes a little bit and so some beer comes out. This will definitely take care of that problem and it's only like five or six bucks. 
Um, they even make them with like logos. So if you have your favorite sports team or something, you can get that. But um, don't know how much I'm gonna use it just because of how big it is, um, you know, compared to a regular bottle opener. But for sure, if I had to open a lot and it was in my drawer, I would pop this guy out. So next up, we have the perfect black and tan tool. Um, and this was actually the one I was looking most forward to. And I'm sorry to say, guys, I could not get it to work. I tried um, with Guinness, I tried um, to use lager at the bottom, I tried to use an amber at the bottom, I tried to pour fast, I tried to pour, pour slow, and no matter what I did, the two were always mixing. I could not get them to layer. Um, I have seen it done uh, on videos, but I have seen a ton of other videos where they can't do it either. So I, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I thought this was gonna just work super, super easy instead of like taking a spoon and pouring it over the back of a spoon or something like that. Um, you know, maybe you'll have better luck than I did, but I did try it three times and I could not get it to work. So again, maybe it's something I'm doing wrong, but I have noticed others have had that problem too. So I, I can't give it a recommendation, even though it seems like the perfect thing and it's and it's super affordable. And especially if you're somebody who drinks black and tans a lot, then you probably already know about this, but uh, I could not get it to work, guys. And uh, it, was, it was quite disappointing. So I can't give it a recommendation based on my experiences. Okay, last but not least, we have this beer cover sheath. sheath? Sheath thing? Oh, there you go, sheath. Um, I would say that I thought this was kind of stupid and then I actually used it. And while I don't see me personally using it a lot, I could see situations where somebody would want to. You know, it, it goes right on the neck of a bottle and then, you know, can actually plug the cap. So if you're somebody who's out drinking and maybe you're at the beach and it's quite sandy, and you don't want to get sand in your beer or maybe there's a bunch of bugs around or something and you just want to put something on top of your beer while you're not drinking it so no mosquitoes or whatever it is or maybe you're somebody who just doesn't drink beer very quickly and you want to set it down and go do something else while that's just sitting there and you want to have something on the cover so nothing gets in it this will work um and you can actually even plug the the beer bottle and then hold it up here by you know it's little you know side piece and it will hold um, so while maybe not for me uh, if you are somebody who could use something like this yeah, you cover your beers with like a coaster or something like that or a paper towel this is something that can just stay attached and you can move it from from one beer to the next beer and I think it certainly works for for somebody who has a need like that so well maybe not for me certainly could see a use for it uh, for the right person. Okay, so that's it. That's five beer gadgets you can get off Amazon. If you haven't already, guys, make sure you check out Beer Gadgets Part 1, uh, where I go over some more stuff in there as well and see if you can find something in there that you might like. Um, I'm going to try to link all these down below uh, for the Amazon link. Uh, it's not affiliated. I'm just showing you what I paid for them and, and the link to them, so feel free to shop around. If this video did help you out, guys, give it a like. Subscribe to Dad Hut so you don't ever miss any of these videos, and I'll see you on the next one.